One of the things we talk about at Dementia Carers Count when we're face-to-face -face courses with carers is a comfort box which we know that carers can often find helps them with their well-being. So a comfort box is a box which has got lots of items in it that are really personal to you and are ones that perhaps give you a sense of comfort, a sense of taking you back to a really relaxed moment that um, you really value and gives you a sense of warmth or just a bit of peace of mind. And I've put together my own comfort box, which I, I find really valuable to me. It's a, I bought myself a nice box recently and put them all in here to, to make it really special to me. And it sits on a shelf in my house. And sometimes if I'm feeling very anxious or I'm feeling that um, I need a little bit of uh, relaxation, I can take this comfort box down off the shelf I can open it up and there's lots of things in there that take me back to those times that are uh, sort of really special to me. So I've got various things in my comfort box and the key I found was when I put things together that I did it when I was feeling quite in a happy place. So I went round my house, I, I didn't worry about what I was choosing. I was just picking up things that made me smile. And even now, sometimes I think, how did that make it into my comfort box? But it was because when I was doing it, it just was something that really reminded me of something that would help me out during tricky times. So there are various things in the comfort box. Um, some of them, obviously we have chocolate. There has to be chocolate in a comfort box. But there are also things from my past. So um, I have this rather large pebble. And this pebble is from a place in Mid Wales where we always went on holiday as children. And it just, it transports me back to being able to visualize that beach and those happy moments on that beach. And it just brings a smile to my face, really. There are other things that are really immediate. Now, one of the things for me is my dog's ears. If I've had a really tough day in work, having um, my dog next to me and stroking these really silky ears is great, but sometimes my dog's off on a walk with someone else. And I found this brush, and this brush has exactly the same feeling as um, my dog's ears. So that can just sort of take me to thinking about him really. Toby is his name. Um, other things in the comfort box are bubble wrap. We all like a piece of bubble wrap, don't we? It's just pop in them. There's something that gives you a real physical energy by popping um, bubble wrap. So it's not just about sort of emotional ties to the past, but it can be something very physical. Another physical one is magnets. Now, this is one of those that I thought was a bit of a crazy one to put in there in the first place. But actually, each time I bring it out and that physical connection it's just a bit of grounding it's it's sort of solid for me and it just it, it, it gives me a grounding lots of other things in my comfort box some of them random but there is that sense of smell we've had the sense of taste in the chocolate we've had the sense of visual things and this is a real sense of smell and this is a piece of a ca candle that has just the most beautiful smell to me and um, that's just really nice now and again so there's lots of other things in the comfort box. Those are just a few of them. Some of them make me smile, some of them make me laugh, and some of them just make, give me a sense of warmth and relaxation. Comfort boxes are great for you as a carer to help you on a day-to-day -day basis, perhaps when you're feeling low or exhausted, but they're also great for the person with dementia. And it's a great thing to put together together because when I introduced my comfort box to you, you saw there's lots of reminiscence things in there and reminiscence is so fantastic to be able to develop relationships, to have conversations with somebody with dementia. So if you have your own comfort box, that is great for your own well-being, but it's also great for the well-being of a person with dementia and it's also a great way for you to spend time together, either putting the comfort box together in the first place or actually just having a chat on a day-to-day -day basis about things that make you smile and things that make you giggle. So if you put together a comfort box for yourself or you support somebody with dementia to put together their own comfort box, we would love to hear from you at Dementia Carers Count. Perhaps you could post something in our forum and that way you'll be helping other carers to think about new and novel ideas that they can put perhaps in their own comfort boxes. Mm -hmm.